48 First Alert Weather Forecast with meteorologist Jeff DeNoyer. All right, let's talk about the weekend. We got Jeff here. A lot going on. We got trash pandas. Yeah, let's, I mean, a lot of people are going to want to be outside. They're going to sweat a lot. Yes, but we expect that in July and I think any plans that you have this weekend will be just fine okay, in terms good. of staying dry, right? And, and that's what you're doing here for the past five weeks, right? Is finding rainfall is very hard and the weekends have been dry. They've been hot and they've been humid. This one's going to be hot, not all that humid. Right now outside, we're in the 90s for just about every location. A few upper 80s in Albertville and Fort Payne, but you'll be 90 soon. But again, like yesterday, the humidity is down. It's still hot and it's still, you know, when you go outside, you sweat. It's sunny for the most part, but temperatures in the mid 90s will feel like mid 90s this afternoon. There's no heat index. There's no feels like temperature. It's what you see is what you get because because the dew point temperature continues to stay down. Here's one big, huge bummer for us right now, right? See a little puffy cumulus clouds firing up. We had that yesterday, but you got rain to the north. You got rain to the east. And when I zoom out, you got rain to the south. It's like literally a dome over the top of our area, blocking all rain from coming in right now, right? And that dome is usually a big area of high pressure. That's exactly what we have. And this is not going to break down anytime soon. So constantly staying hot, eventually getting more humid and eventually staying so dry that that drought monitor, which I'm going to show you in a moment, that we keep track of the drought conditions across the Tennessee Valley is only going to get worse before it gets better. We're going to add more colors because we just don't have enough rain in the forecast. Shoals outside right now, a few little puffy clouds, 93 degrees. The dam looks beautiful right now, but there's that drought monitor right there for you. Severe for areas right along the Tennessee Alabama state line. If you're not severe, you're moderate and maybe a few little pockets of yellow, but obviously we haven't had much rain since about the beginning of June. When we do get rain, it's not evenly distributed. It seems like one area gets it and then the town right next to it gets nothing. And that's the problem with summer rainfall. And we really need a true soaker. And we just don't have that in the forecast. So this afternoon, there'll be a little bit of cloud cover out there, but the temperature is by far the main story, mid nineties. If you go into the Pandas game tonight, Haley mentioned they're in town through the weekend. And I said, they lost three in a row. Uh, they, they need some support tonight. Go out there and get them a win. And then as we go into Friday night into tomorrow morning, it generally clear. You wake up Saturday, you're in the 70s. And then in the afternoon, another day with temperatures taking off to 90 by noon and well into the 90s in the afternoon. In fact, a few locations could actually nudge 100 degrees. And that's just the air temperature. That's not the feels like temperature. It stays hot for Sunday too. another chance to make a run at 90 or 100. We have 20 percent chance of some showers on Sunday. I think more areas are going to stay dry. That rain fall for the weekend looks very, very isolated and really not until the middle part of next week will be the better chance of rain as we go rain on the roof. Maybe a spot shower Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, but if you want more of a soaking rain where we all could get an equal amount, that would come more probably on Wednesday and then stick around for Thursday and into the end of the week and the temperatures will hinge on how much rain we get, but generally in the 90s for your daytime highs.